All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Yes, once again, we have for you guys a 2013 Super Snake wide body. I think a lot of people are thinking, how rare are these cars when you guys have had so many of them? But it's not really the case. These cars are rare. This one, really one of the better specs we've had in recent memory. $106,000 in receipts from Shelby, done at Vegas. So many options and cool, unique features that you don't see on uh, other super snakes especially wide bodies so the total cost of this car was over 173 grand when you factor in that you had to get the gt500 as well uh, one owner snake 2,000 miles on the build which is a big big bonus for these cars um, you know the build is very recent 2017 it was done Paint it stripes, $7,200 option. One of the more unique features on this car. It's a ghost pearl. It's really hard to see. Uh, kind of has like a reddish purple tent. Metallic, stunning in the sun when you get a good view of it at an angle. And when they say ghost, it really is. Um, like I said, only see it very subtly at different angles. Obviously, your wide body. You have your Recaro seats with Alicantara suede inserts, which we've never had. Um, on any of the Super Snakes, never had a Super Snake with painted stripes either. Inside those Recaro seats, you have red stitching. You have the seat delete with the roll bar. The roll bar matches the color of the stripe. Anti-hop option, which was $8,000. Um, that roll bar was $4,000. The list goes on and on and on. So $106,000 in receipts. One of the more highly optioned Super Snakes we've had. Um, even has more in it than the wide body hole shot that we have uh, so we're going to break it down for you guys go through the entire car all the different options that this car has but uh, definitely one of the more unique one of the rare options super snake wide bodies that you'll ever come across this 2013 shelby gt500 super snake wide body checks all the right boxes with a few extra bonus points at it during its upgrade from a Ford SVT Shelby GT500 into a Super Snake at the Shelby American Factory in Las Vegas, this gorgeous Mustang Coupe received plenty of extras, including the ultra rare full wide body, optional polished Whipple 4.0 liter supercharger, which produces 850 horsepower. Since 2007, Shelby America has offered the Super Snake package for GT500s from 2007 through 2014. Each year was capped at 500 units, but none ever came close to reaching that number. Around the middle of 2021, production concluded on Super Snakes for the model years 2007 through 2014. Up to this point, you were always able to send a GT500 back and transform it into a Super Snake. Prices seemingly jumped overnight and have not slowed down since. These model years from 07 to 14 are significant. Not only was Carroll influential in the build of these cars, but they were all built on a GT500 body. After 2014, they were used on a GT Premium, a much cheaper option. When the Shelby badge appears together with the name Super Snake, you know it's going to be something unique, something only a Shelby can be. Before the conversion to a Super Snake status, the 2013 Shelby GT500 packed a 5.8 liter V8, which increased from the aluminum block 5.4 liter engine found in earlier versions a 2.3 liter eaton supercharger increased compression and improved bottom end strength oiling and cooling combined to produce the 600 plus horsepower which was targeted by ford's svt engineering team who took no time in declaring that they were not finished what is unique to the super snake in regards to the exterior features added further definition to the Super Snake package, including a unique fiberglass hood with an enlarged snorkel air intake and new front and rear fascias. This was introduced at the 2013 Detroit Auto Show. The new version took the Super Snake formula to an all new high of 850 horsepower. This car is loaded with carbon fiber extras in and out. Under the hood, front grille, rear diffuser, in the cabin, and there's still yet to be assembled carbon fiber pieces that can be found in the trunk. We've owned close to 40 Super Snakes, if not more. And besides one other Super Snake that we've had, this has the most carbon fiber options on them. And let me tell you that it makes a difference aesthetically, whether you're in the cabin, looking at it from outside, these nice carbon fiber pieces 
are not cheap. Uh, adds to the total cost of this build, which was over $106,000. We have 21 pages of invoices from Shelby, plus the cost of the car. And all these carbon fiber extras just start adding up in terms of uh, value at the time of completion and also presently. Another rare option on this car is the anti-hop upgrade. That was developed to keep all of the Super Snake horsepower planted firmly to the ground and give the car a better feel and stability. That was $8,000 and some of the things that were included in the anti-hop package include upper and lower control arms, pan hard bar and assemble, subframe connectors, tunnel brace, aluminum differential cover, rear axle reservoir, torsen rear axle posi traction, e-performance wheel studs, and welded axle tubes. Another option was the Watts Link suspension upgrade for $2,000. You have the twin disc performance clutch for $2,600. The car has been fully ceramic coated, has PPF on the nose, hood, rockers, and fenders. You have the roll bar inside with the rear seat delete. That's painted to match the ghost red pearl stripes that are on the hood. And that roll bar costs $4,000. And yes, I did just mention that the stripes are painted. I have never seen another Super Snake with painted stripes. That is extremely rare. And this ghost red pearl is just a stunning color. Depending on how the sun is hitting it, how the light is hitting it, you see it. It's very subtle. Sometimes you don't see it. But it is gorgeous on this car. And you never, ever see painted stripes on a super snake they're usually vinyl it's one of the knocks on the super snakes are those stripes but this car has painted stripes at a cost of seventy two hundred dollars back in 2017 and if you guys are familiar now with the painted stripes on the new gt 500s that's running you anywhere from ten thousand to twelve thousand um, dollars on those cars but really really unique i can't uh, overstate that enough how rare finding one of these super snakes with painted stripes are i've never seen another one i don't know i'm sure there are a few out there uh, but with all the super snakes we've had over the years this is the first one we've seen and owned with painted stripes so the csm number is 13 ss 0010 uh, i've heard that that came at a cost of ten thousand dollars we don't have paperwork on that but just hearing that in order to get a csm number that was from one to 10, Shelby did charge a $10,000 fee. I'm not saying that this guy got charged for that when the Super Snake was done, uh, but to have a Super Snake CSM number from one to 10, people are saying that that was a $10,000 charge. I have seen paperwork where that was charged for those cars. We don't, but it's kind of unique to have you know a car that is in the first 10. This 2013 GT500 Super Snake now shows 6,900 miles and finished in black with an extremely rare, as I mentioned, painted stripe option. Only 2,000 miles are on the build, which is uh, very important. Uh, this car was built in 2017 to be completed as a Super Snake. One of the listings on Bring a Trailer, if you look back, one of their wide bodies, it was a black car that sold. Some of the comments on there were pretty uh, you know, informative. There were some saying that there were only 60 total wide bodies made for 2013 and 14 combined and a total of 180 super snakes from 2013 to 14. So you're talking, you know, around 30% of the total builds had the wide body package and aesthetically it just looks so good. Everybody loves the look of that wide body. Uh, hard to find. They didn't make many of them and especially option like this in the condition this is in. Uh, we've had wide body hole shots currently have one that car does not have the amount of money in the build as this one does this one has more than actually the hole shot does which is you know crazy to think but when you start looking at the different options with the um, anti-hop you have your painted stripes the roll bar you know some things in this car that are very unique and different from some of the other super snakes we've had including wide body hole shots which are the true unicorn in terms of the super snake world so to give you some perspective, the total upgrades of this Super Snake cost $106,000 plus the cost of the car, which was $66,000. So at the end of the program, the wide body alone would have cost you around $35,000. On this car, 
At the time it was done, it was $25,000, not to mention the price increases for some of the other options, like the Super Snake base price increasing in value. Um, probably if you wanted those painted stripes, it would have been more than $7,200. So to duplicate this car at the end of the program would have cost you just under $200,000. Some of the things that are included in the exterior package, you have your functional Shelby Super Snake hood, which is fiberglass. You have your carbon fiber front fascia splitter, aluminum hood grill inserts. On this one, they were changed to carbon fiber, which is a nice touch. You have your Shelby deck letters, Super Snake badging and front fenders. You have your painted stripe, as we mentioned, front brake ducts behind the door, um, usually they have side scoops on this one. It's one of the first ones we've had where it is glass on there. They usually have either blockouts where you can't see or those scoops here. They left it alone. I really like that feature. Um, you know how you can still see the glass on those, uh, rear windows, the interior upgrade. This is definitely the nicest packaged interior super snake we've had. You have your Recaro seats with your red stitching, red logos, suede Alicantara inserts, which we've never had on any of the Super Snakes. Um, if you guys have been following us with the ZR1s, I love the competition sports seats in those with the Alicantara middle inserts. This is just like that with the Recaros. Never seen another Super Snake with that, and it just gives it such a good look in the interior. It's so clean to go along with your red uh, short throw shifter ball. You have your carbon fiber components along um, the doors. You have the carbon fiber, which you can put the center council, which has not been assembled yet. So really awesome interior. It looks fantastic. You got your harnesses, the roll bar. I mean, it's just a badass looking interior to match, you know, how badass the car looks with the wide body. Included in some of the interior packages for the Super Snake is your CSM number. We've said it on all of our Super Snake videos. You need to make sure when you're buying a Super Snake that those cars have a CSM number. There's a lot of fakes that are going on, um, kind of being floated around out there. You need a CSM number to verificate that it is indeed a Shelby Super Snake matching all of the paperwork. It'll say the CSM number on there and it should match on your dash black. You have your Super Snake door sill plates. Here they light up red. They were custom made for the original owner, which is, you know, pretty neat. Shelby Super Snake floor mats. You have your aesthetic engine kit with billet fluid caps and dipstick handle. Your A-pillar mounted gauge cluster. Carbon fiber face gauges. Shelby Super Snake embroidered headrest. Center console with Shelby Super Snake logo. Your Borla cat back exhaust system. Ford Racing Suspension Lowering Springs. You have your Shelby 4 Piston Caliper Brakes and 6 Piston Rear. In these, it is red, which good, looks really good with the black. Cold Air Intake, Shelby Performance Cooling Package. Your 20-inch wheels. And overall, I mean, the more you look at this car and the way it's optioned and really, you know, 21 pages of invoices for anyone interested, do you want to see all those pictures, reach, reach out to us. When you start going page by page through what was done to this car and you start comparing it to some of the other ones that have sold and even some of the ones that we've owned, it's nearly double what it costs for some of our other wide body cars uh, for the build. We've had cars you know, with $60,000 and build the one uh, Ruby red car that we had, uh, just 60000 So you're almost, you know, double the price in terms of options for this car compared to other ones. And, you know, you see it and you see the different things. And the more you look at it and notice those little details, the more you appreciate exactly what this car is. <laughs>
All right, so that's a wrap on our 2013 Super Snake wide body. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be on the lookout for some future inventory. If you haven't already, leave a comment, give us a thumbs up, and subscribe.